Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to another fun-filled edition of Adam's Music Box, where today I want to join everyone and celebrate the birthday of the great Rod Argent. Now, Rod Argent is known among a lot of music fans, but his name really should be as much of a household name as the song with which he's most associated, because he wrote and performed what is quite possibly one of the best rock and roll sing-alongs ever, along with perhaps We Will Rock You. And this is, of course, Hold Your Head Up by the band Argent, named after him, of course. And you've heard it. Everyone's heard it. You know, hold your head up. Hold your head up. Every, everyone knows it and everyone loves to sing along with it. It's a real crowd pleaser. But Argent was about a lot more than that. Um, he began his public career in the sort of fame's limelight as the leader of the uh, band The Zombies. And The Zombies had a lot of hits on both sides of the Atlantic. Uh, one of them was even remade by Santana in a sort of Latin rock version. That was She's Not There. I'm sure you've heard it. It's too late to say you're sorry. It's too late to say you care. But let me tell you about the way she looks. Well, I'll stop now because I'd rather hear uh, you listen to the original zombies and check out the Santana as well uh, and of course um, uh, you've got uh, Time of the Season uh, which was used in just about every Vietnam film ever I, I honestly think that if you were to um, I think if you were to potentially see which songs were used in more Vietnam films than any other. It would probably be a tie between she between, pardon me, the time of the season by the zombies and Fortunate Son by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Both great songs, but my my God, do they license them for those Vietnam films? Um the the zombies came out with what's considered one of the best concept albums of the 60s. And this was called Odyssey and Oracle. And it's sometimes mentioned in the same breath as things like the Beach Boys Pet Sounds, Beatles Sergeant Peppers, um, Moody Blues Days of Future Past. Um, it really was one of these interesting concept albums, very psychedelic, but really well written. Uh, but by the time psychedelia and the 60s became the 70s and all of that stuff, there was, of course, the formation of the band Argent, which took things even further than the zombies. And this band was formed around Rod Argent, who wrote most of the material, he played organ and other keyboards on it. And he also had a guitar player in the band who went on to become very famous in his own right, Russ Ballard, uh, a great songwriter whose songs have been covered by many. God Gave Rock and Roll to You was one of the songs he did for Argent. And one of the songs he wrote, uh, Since You've Been Gone, became a huge hit for Rainbow in the late 70s and one of their best songs. So between the two of them, you had two great songwriters and the band Argent went on to release many great albums it's hard to really pick out one that stands apart from the others because they're all really really good all together now was the one that was their biggest hit because that obviously had um uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Hold Your Head Up. The album Nexus uh, from 74 is also sometimes considered their strongest album. It's less hit-oriented, but it's possibly the most progressive album that Argent put out. By the mid-70s, uh, Russ Ballard had left, and then a few years later, the band went their separate ways. But Argent were one of the more soulful of these sort of post-psychedelic uh, kind of sort of proggy bands. Um, they weren't strictly prog. They weren't strictly sort of soulful hard rock the way that, let's say, Atomic Rooster was. They kind of sit sat somewhere in between, uh, but they were crowd pleasers. Their live performance were really good. In fact, uh, there's a really high quality recording of Hold Your Head Up uh, that someone uploaded to YouTube from a European television show at the time, and it's purely live, no miming, no overdubs, no lip syncing. And you can really see just how good everyone in that band was. Uh, Rick Wakeman, who we've talked about a lot before on this channel, said that, that Rod's solo on the Hammond organ in Hold Your Head Up was the finest he's ever heard. Very high praise indeed. So a very happy birthday to Rod Argent and... 
pardon me for saying the obvious fun, but hold your head up and hold your heads up too out there. Like, subscribe. We will see you next time. Take care.